How's everyone? My name is Jacob. So, back to school. Mm-hmm. Lovely time. Ah, oh, don't you love it? The idea is hopefully you feel refreshed and inspired to get back into your uni work, school work, or whatever it is work. But there are complications. If, for example, you're going to a new school, they don't have 3D printers. Well, they do have 3D printers, but they're not good 3D printers. What are you gonna do? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you how to 3D print with only a computer and an internet connection. Half of you right now are probably like, what? you other half are probably like, okay, yeah, I know where this is going. You don't fool me, Jacob. You don't fool me. Well, where this is going is third party 3D printing services. And they, frankly, look amazing. This is also a sponsored video by Autodesk. And like all good sponsored videos, I get good perks. And the perks I have for this video is a $300 gift voucher for Shapeways for me to try out the service and get back to you. I've never used Shapeways before, so this is gonna be a learning experience for me and for you. So, the plan. So when it comes to designing any product, there's always a massive ideation phase at the beginning. It's always you draw out as many concepts as you can to really try it out. And you normally do this on paper with quick fire sketches. But I thought, wouldn't that be really cool instead of just having a whole lot of quick fire drawings? What if you could have a whole lot of quick fire 3D model prototypes? And this is now possible with 3D printing because it's fast. And so it justifies it. So, plan is, I am gonna draw 10 to 20 different iterations of earbuds. You know, listen to music, those things. And then I'm gonna cat them up in Fusion 360, and then I'm gonna send them to Shapeways. That's his plan. Let's get drawing. And there we go, it's not late at night, but I've done the drawings. The next step now is to cat them. I'll do that tomorrow morning. As you can see from the light facade of my room, it is now morning and we are gonna begin catting. So I'm using my calipers for measurement. So we're gonna go up these, cat them up as quick as we can and get them in shape ways. Does this plan, does this time to execute. So I've now quickly modeled 10 earbuds in Fusion. Next step now is to take them across to Shapeways and get them printed. I am now in Shapeways. This is what you get when you sign up and you want to make a model. But before we make models, I think I want to find out what sort of materials they offer because I know they offer a huge plethora of materials. So let's have a look. What have they got? Versatile plastics and steel. So we've got different colors. Uh, printed with SLS printing, which is select laser sintering. That's the powder stuff. So that's really good. Okay, that's nice. It's in steel, which is good. And then we've also got the professional finishes. So pl professional plastic, which I'm assuming is a high grade plastic. And then of course you've got platinum, gold, silver, brass, bronze, gold plated, which is stuff I'm probably not gonna use unless I'm making jewelry or stuff. So we're probably gonna just gonna, for this thing, stick to the Vistar plastics. So with that in mind, let's up upload these files. So jumping back into Fusion, here I have all of my earbuds. So, a model for 3D printing you want it as an STL file. So the way you do that is you click on body, right click on body, save as an STL. Now if we come back across to Shapeways, we can choose the file. Here's one here that I did earlier. We open. Now it's going to upload your model and there we have our model which we have a preview of here. Let's get a platinum that costs over 8k. No we're not getting it in platinum. Definitely not. So let's go with the Vestal plastic. Cool. Okay, now we've got color options. White is free if I want to change color to another color. It's an extra 570. I'm gonna stick with white. 
Okay, and then we've got finishes. Natural and a matte finish processed, which is an extra $2.50. Let's try that. And quantity one, add to cart. And let's add some more 3D models and then we'll check back with you when it comes to the orders. All right, so next step now is weight. And unfortunately, because I live in little old New Zealand, which is in a very remote place of the world, it's gonna take a while to get here, not till the end of August. I've got on the fastest shipping, so we're just gonna have to wait. Okay, it has finally come. This is the shipment from Shapeways. These are my 3D prints. Let's open. Here they are. Here they are. They're amazing. So there we have it. So these are the little guys that came in the post. I'm really happy with them. I mean, it's really cool to be able to go from drawing to a physical prototype in your hands in such a short period of time. What's really cool is that this sort of adds a whole nother layer to the ideation phase. It's really cool to have these little tactile appearance models to go along with your sketches. So you can see size and how the features that you've done react in a 3D space and how they feel. Yeah, I'm impressed. And the whole project was far simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Each model took me less than 10 minutes to make and then Shapeways was a breeze to use. Anyone could use it. It's just as simple as adding something to your cart, literally. Anyone could do this. And this is a great project to do. If you're sort of unfamiliar with CAD, like to be honest, I'm not that good at it, doing a project like this really builds that confidence. And I would recommend it. Big thank you to Autodesk for sponsoring this video. And yeah, if you would like to see more videos like this, then you can check out my YouTube channel over here. And please consider subscribing as I release a ton of really cool videos about industrial design and design in general. With that said, Jacob.